All right, what's up? So we're going to be doing a review of a movie review today. So um, it's going to be the uh, review of the Prey movie. So let's see what how this guy does. His name is Adam Rance Movies, or Adam Does Movies. All right, let's see. Hey, and it's a Hulu exclusive. Okay, don't like his voice, but but early see. reviews by critics who are special enough to get sneak previews. I'm not one of them. See this. <laughs> I know it's pretty funny. Good job. Well, I sat with my family today, like a common peasant. Mm. And here are my thoughts. Let us pray. Okay, good intro. Those bastards are right. It's a damn good movie, and the reason for this is actually quite simple. Oh. Oop. Okay. Easy. Ooh, does he know? Easy, big fella. Okay, he does. I will let them know. Just shut it off. Thank you. Okay, there's a predator off camera, and he's saying, very aggressively, mind you, that you need to subscribe to my channel, Adam Does Movies, to catch all the movie reviews, news, mm, don't know about that. Nature. Otherwise, he's blowing my head off, and he can't have that. <laughs> okay, so he's a mixture between cringy and funny. I like I it so far. Saying, before I was rudely interrupted, this is a good movie. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's short, good job. an hour and 30 minutes long. Mm, he got, that's accurate. Can you imagine such a dream? It doesn't overstay its welcome. It moves That's at a true, really it doesn't. Good pace. It's got a very likable, believable lead in the role who's kicking ass. She's fighting for her life. She's surviving. She proves herself throughout the course of the film that she's a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. One not to be trifled with all the same. Mm. See, I disagree with that. Eventually she does, but for most of the movie, she's just kind of weak. Around. Oh, and oh yeah, a giant predator stalking her. Mm. He almost forgot that part. That's that's gonna take a notch off. She starts modifying it by tying a rope around Jackie Chan style. That is true. The sound effects are pretty accurate, I have to say. No, she doesn't do that. It's not that over the top. Yeah, he almost there lied there. Some great action moments in this. I also love that since this is a prequel, they can have some fun with the uh, predator design. This alien's a little bit. Old I can also appreciate that. I'll give him an extra point for that available. one. So he has like a medieval shield. His face shield Again, great kind of sound effects. Very the accurate to the movie. His disposal doesn't work as good. It's just a simple and fresh way to take a story that we've already seen before, the survival aspect, and put a little spin on it. Mm -hmm. Give a little creativity here and there. Yeah. When it was announced this would be a Hulu exclusive, every part of me died inside. I thought, oh. well, this is this is getting sent out to pasture. They're unceremoniously shitting it out on this platform, and they're not going to think again about it. But after seeing it, I'm even more puzzled what the point was. This is a really good movie. Yeah. It's got beautiful cinematography. Calm down, it's but got yeah. A great, captivating score. I don't think the budget was very high for this movie, and that's mm. fine. Dan knows how to squeeze out every ounce of capital he has to work with and make it look No sound great. effect for that, it's and I wanted one, so I'm going to dock a point. Movie. People trying to survive. He knows how to make it work, and he does it again. This movie's rated R, and it's entirely for violence. There's no nudity. No, sorry. Mm, there's some shirtless men that turned me on, so I'm going to say he's wrong. Talking a point. Dialogue, it's absolutely because of the unbridled violence and some of the gore we get to witness. And it's good. It's very good stuff. It we is. have animal skinnings, things getting stabbed, things getting shot in every part of the body. Yep. Decapitation. Short for decapitation. And just an overall... That is a fact, actually. De decapitation is, uh, there are some is short for decapitation. The critters that come along are pretty fake looking. Some heavy CGI work at play doesn't always stick, but then in other times it looks fantastic, almost one-to-one -one with real-life nature. Mm -hmm. And while those moments can sometimes pull you out of the film, keep in mind this is a film featuring a giant alien running around killing stuff, you get right back into it because of the performances. Again, he's taken out all his sound effects, and I don't know what decision process he had to make that, but it's uh, taking a negative effect on his uh, score, so just putting that out there. blow things up to a grandiose level, Nothing, nothing Grandiose, a word I don't understand. Uh, docking a point. But when it's just one dude hunting some other dudes, yeah, okay, I, 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 I can get on board that shit, Predator. I'm with you. It's a Hulu exclusive, unfortunately. If you don't have the app, I'm pretty sure it's month to month. And I think it is absolutely mm. worth watching, so pony up the 10 or 12 bucks that it costs. It's cheaper than Okay, now he's asking for money for a different service, so, uh, docking a point. Worth. Check out Prey. Drop the lights down, get the popcorn, put it on a big TV, mm -hmm. and have a blast. 
Yep. My family did. We ate it up. And I guess the last thing I would say is make sure to like the video, share it around if you can, and oh, there we, mm. there it is again. <laughs> I see you. Subscribe. All Thanks. right. That time it was cringy, so uh, docking five points. Thanks. And he didn't give a number of review, which I will do for him. Um, so I felt like for most of that review. He um, was pretty accurate with what he was saying, but um, he decided to take the uh, sound effects out. Uh, he wasn't doing his own sound effects anymore for some reason, which I really missed by the end of that. Um, and then at the end there, he did a very cringy take on what he already did. Uh, so, um, and I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate cringy takes on stuff that have already been done. So I'm going to give that out of 10... I'll say a, um, I'll give it an 8 though. I think my math adds up. Yeah, I'll give it an 8. It was a correct review. It was right on the money with how the movie was. But as far as his personality goes, I think he could step up a notch. So, um, better luck next time. You know, not awful. 8 is good. 8 is great for some people, you know. But, uh, on the Billy, Billy score, um, you want to get higher than that. That's for sure. So, yeah, um. Hope you liked my review on the review. Alright.